Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to try to do a short video update on my morning skincare routine. This is actually by request. And just like I did my nighttime, which I will link somewhere, either in the description box or in a card, my morning routine is pretty well, probably boring because it is pretty consistent. So what I do is I um, get up and I tend to, to um, because of my Retin-A, if I need to, I might do an exfoliation on my skin and, and uh, it really all depends. I do like, and I showed this in my nighttime routine, I do like this a lot from Body Mary and I might do this a couple of times a week. Really all depends on my skin. But I typically will wash, usually with a very hydrating, I love the Say Yes to Coconut, I've mentioned that before. I also like the CeraVe hydrating wash in the morning. So I will do that with my skin. I'll take my time, I'll go through it really nice and clean and, um, and then I let it dry. And I, the first thing I will add is my vitamin C. I do understand the l acid is sort of the gold standard or the holy grail aspect of vitamin C. So if I'm going to use the vitamin C on my skin, I do want to have what I perceive to be the best that I can afford. And so for me right now, based on my budget, and, and maybe there's another product and one of you can tell me in the comments below, I think that'd be great. I've been using the, um, the Timeless and it's the 20% C plus E plus ferulic acid. I've been using this since some t sometime in the summertime. It's been, it's been a while that I've been using this. So what I do, I keep it in the refrigerator. I try and, and I really don't even want to open it. So I keep it in the refrigerator. I only open it really quickly to get out. I put maybe two or three drops in my hands and then I take it and I pat it into my skin and I do go around and what's left I put in my hands. I'm not going down on my neck right now with it, although I have in the past. I'm doing a completely different routine on my neck. Now, I might wait a minute or less. I typically walk this back to the refrigerator. I come back into the bathroom and my next step is usually, and, and I did buy the, the coenzyme which I'm going to start using at night, I believe, on my face. So, but I haven't built that in yet. But currently, I'm using the Matrixel 3000 Serum again from Timeless. I do keep this in my refrigerator as well. So, this I put a couple of, you know, probably maybe more like four drops and I do put this all over my face. I pay particular attention to where my wrinkles are but it, it is something I do put all over my face. I let that absorb into my skin and I, it really does absorb pretty quick. And then I was using the Skin Diva, the Botox in a bottle, the Matrixel, it's a Matrixel combination 3000 and I can never say this word, Agril, Ag, Agril, Agriline. English is my second language for those of you that don't know. So some of my words just totally butchered. Ask my husband when we go out on our little jaunts in the fall and, and we look at the foliage and he gets really, he, he like is always trying to correct me on how to say that. You gotta, I'm going to link a video about that adventure here. No matter how hard I try, I still can't say the word Alula, Alula Min, but it's tin foil and that is easier. So, um, I was using the Skin Diva, now I'm using Astorwood Naturals. I just got this replacement bottle. I haven't really noticed any kind of a difference between the two brands, although there may be, and I'm not a chemist, I'm not into all the, all the details of the ingredients as much as I probably should be. But what I do with this, the same as when I was using the Skin Diva, is I put it on my, my a couple of drops and I concentrate very much on my crow my I have some really you know wrinkles here the crow's feet or whatever my laugh lines and I go all around here I do go around my eyelids I do go under and then I I concentrate into my what whatever these are called I'm not too sure what they are but nasal folds nasal whatever but you know what they are so I do concentrate on that and that's where I usually put that as sort of like a spot check so at that point in time I let that sink in and then my last serum would be hyaluronic acid um, I'm using the timeless pure hyaluronic acid I, I put it all over my face I love it on my hands etc that's pretty well my serums and the order that I do them in 
I don't know if it's correct, but it's what's working for me right now, so I, I really like it. My uh, last step on my moisturizer, if I am really dry, and sometimes it spots more for my Retin-A, I will take my, and I use this as an, at night too, and I've mentioned this, but I will take my Bee Venom cream, face mask cream, and I will put a little bit on my skin in my more drier areas. My T-zone is usually okay, um, but I, I typically will put the moisturizer into my dry my drier areas. And um, my skin is never really very dry in the morning, but I just figure it might help me as I go through the day. I absolutely love this stuff. After that, then I start with my my neck. Um, as I mentioned in my other my other video, I have been trying a product that was sent to me free because I had inquired about it from my sister who had, was interested in this product called Go Pure Naturals and it was by Cleopatra's Choice was the manufacturer and I've been using and I really I must say it's too short so I'm gonna do a full review on this in a little bit because I had taken pictures of my neck before I started but I've been using this on my neck and down into um, my chest. This is a vitamin C serum, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and jojoba oil. So I will put this on my neck and into my chest in the morning. And I wash my neck and chest the same way I do my face. And then I will top it off with their version of hyaluronic acid, which has a little bit of a vitamin C, green tea, and witch hazel in it. So it's a mixture as opposed to the timeless one that's just pure hyaluronic acid. So I put that on. At one point that all dries and I will go back to my neck and I will put this vitamin C Go Pure moisturizer. This is their day mo the, mo the moisturizer that, that comes with Go Pure. And, um, and I will put this on my neck and all the way down. So these are the two moisturizers I use. My Bee Venom Cream on my face and this currently on my neck and chest. This, it's too early for me to tell you how I'm really feeling. If I'm noticing any results, I'm going to keep going on these products and then give you a review at the end. I do have a great, a couple of great before pictures and we'll see if there's any changes. But that's my, my routine in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm a creature of habit. So quick update. My son has been doing great. He had his surgery on Wednesday morning at 6.30 and, you know, I did a, a video update on that. He's still in pain, but he's got pain medicine and he's going to probably, they're saying, be in his cast at least for six weeks and then from that point on, it, it all depends on how he does. But so far he's been doing really, really, really great. So thank you for all your prayers and well wishes to him. I do believe it's made a huge difference. This week for me, I got a haircut. It's my long-standing appointment. My hairdresser is very, very busy. You always have to book it in advance. So I got my hair cut. I didn't get any kind of, I didn't get my low lights. So my hair is kind of more of a, a you know, Adela. My hair bleaches out really um, heavy in the summer. So, you know, as I get into the summer season, I'm going to be blonder and blonder just because the sun will do that to me uh, very easily. Even though if I try to wear a hat, I still, my hair bleaches out. So I did that. And then I went and I had a pedicure. I hope I said that the right way. Pedicure. That's another one I can never pronounce. Ped e cure. Cure. Q, whatever. But so and when I had that. So I had two um two kind of me time appointments this week and the manicure and the petty petty was just really well um well needed. I needed it a lot, especially now that flip flop season hopefully will be upon us soon. So that's my update. I hope you all had a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe, like my video, leave me a comment. Let me know what's working for you as far as uh, vitamin C. Have you found anything that is really wow? And uh, I would appreciate that. And, and for all of you folks that watch all my videos and leave comments, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.